Okay, let's take a walk around this uh, really exceptional 2002 Land Rover Defender 110 County Station Wagon uh, TD5. It is a factory County Station Wagon and it's got a really, really high spec. Finished in Rioja Red Metallic with grey cloth and it's in nine seater specification. Um, got quite a lot of colour coding on it actually. The, uh, the steering guard, um, the bumper end caps, the grille, the mirrors, um, the side steps and the rear cross member uh, have all been colour coded and uh, actually quite successfully just apart from the mirror end caps where the, uh, the black is showing through again. Um, but no, it's absolutely super spec and a, and a really, really super vehicle actually all round. Fitted with the proper Land Rover Expedition roof rack which costs a fortune. Um, that's fitted with rear work light and um, auxiliary spotlights to the front. It's also got snorkel. Now, being a county station wagon of the age, it's got the usual tinted glass, full cloth interior trim, soundproofing, um, electric windows, cent remote alarm central locking and everything. Um, it's also inside, it's fitted with a full length and full height dog guard um, and stereo. But going back to externally, we've got boost alloys which are with a matching set of BF Goodrich mud terrain TAs on there. Full length side steps. Um, checker plate to the wing tops, modesty covers um, and the, uh, the C posts. <coughs> what else do we have on her? Mud flaps front and rear. Um, front and rear um, little light guards, not for the headlights but for the, um, for the, for the side and tail and uh, indicator lights front and rear. It's got a front A bar with uh, auxiliary lights on it. It's got front steering guard. A couple of recovery lugs. Inside it's also got a centre cubby box. Um, the rear, the roof rack has got the, uh, the shorter rear access ladder. You can access it by stepping on the step and going up there. It's got rear step. It's also got adjustable tow pack uh, with twin, um, twin sockets for caravans and stuff. Yeah, there we have it. Um, she is really lovely. Actually. She's done 97,000 miles. Really, really comprehensive history. Um, cracking car. Right, let's go around and pick out some good bits and bad bits. There's really not a lot in the way of bad bits on this. It's, it's gorgeous. Uh, it's also had full Allen bolts put in on the, uh, the doors and everything, which is quite nice. Um, so around the front end, all I can really criticise is some of the colour coatings coming off the bumper end caps. But the paint on the bonnet is first class. One tiny chip just there. I don't know, in fact, it's not really a chip. It's just, just come off from my finger now. Um, but really, really nice. Looking down the sides, looks exceptionally straight. Um, just a couple of minor hedge scratches on the left-hand side, just along the, the eyebrow and uh, down there. Just very, very minor hedge scratches, some of which, if you really wanted to, would polish out. But it is a Land Rover, after all. Um, scuttle corner, first class. Uh, screen is nice. Roof all looks good. Hasn't got a sunroof, this one, which is quite a nice thing to not have, should we say. They always invariably leak. Um, passenger door has got one tiny blemish just there, a tiny bit of electrolytic reaction just there, but that's about a tiny bit there. It's about the only reaction on the car, in fairness. Um, it really is that good. Interior, I can only really describe the interior as immaculate. It's lovely. Um, headlining is nice. Uh, oh, there's a tiny bit of wear on the edge of the cubby box just there, but that's really about your lot. We've, it's all been uh, valeted. All the car original carpets are underneath these uh, big heavy-duty mats. Um, I must admit, I don't like all these switches here personally. I'd uh, either integrate them up here or take them out altogether, uh, but each to their own. Um, it has got seems to have a navigation system on the stereo but the screen doesn't seem to want to come all the way out for the navigation system so we're uh, we're not really um as far as we're concerned it hasn't got it if you know what i mean um it's also got the uh, the extra center console there uh door bottoms first class on that one really good and no movement in the hinges um a post b posts all look good near side rear door not rusty in the usual area up here. All good on the bottom there. And the D post all looks in good shape here. Just a bit of water from where it's just been valeted. Um, as I say, the back seats are in, again, in, in excellent condition. 
near side rear wing is all nice. There's none of the usual reaction or marks or anything around here. It's all exceptionally good and it all looks as clean as a whistle under there. My people have been underneath it and said it's really, really good as well. Around the tail end, so it's got colour coded rear cross member. A couple of bits of the colour coding are coming off just here. Um, tailgate, I think it's the later style tailgate actually because it's got the rounded edges. Yeah, I've been fitted with a newer tailgate at some point. Um, and that's all in excellent shape. A couple of marks on the rear door car, but so inside the back here, again, absolutely first class. You've got a spare number plate there for towing as well. Um, but none of the usual reaction on the tailgate, it's a tiny bit just there. Again, looking down the offside, looks really, really straight and tidy. We had an 03 plate one that was uh, as good as this a couple of months ago, and that sold really, really quickly. I don't think this one's going to hang around either. Uh, but no reaction up here. First class along here. Um, getting a couple of minor hedge scratches on the eyebrows. Um, but that's all nice in there. Door very good in the usual spot. And feels fine there as well. And again, D-post first class. Um, interior lovely. Driver's door, all good. A post, all good. Scuffle corner, first class. Front wing, first class. No problems there at all. Tiny, tiny parking dink just there. No movement in the hinges, really. And bottom of the door feels good as well. And um, yeah, lovely in there. Oh, it's also got a seat riser kit on it as well, which um, puts the seats further back and rises them up slightly for taller drivers. There we have it. She is immaculate. 15 year old Defender. She's absolutely superb. Anyway, that's about all I can say about it, but um, I don't think you'll find a better one. Um, certainly not at this age. My name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495. Or you can go to our website, which is www.motodrome.co.uk for any further information. We take part exchanges. We take Visa and MasterCard credit cards and debit cards with a 2% surcharge for credit cards. And we can have it shipped or delivered anywhere you like in the world, obviously at a cost. That's about it. End.